Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of the Reaper Experience. My name is Percy Jules and today's video is about setting up Omnisphere within Reaper. Omnisphere is a so-called multi-temporal software instrument. This means that per instance of Omnisphere, several different parts or instruments can be triggered separately at the same time. In the case of Omnisphere, up to eight different instruments. So this means that you don't actually have to open a new instance of Omnisphere for every single sound you want to create, which would put a lot of pressure on your computer system. Omnisphere is also a multi-output instrument, so every part can be routed separately, so it then can also be processed separately, which of course will be very important in the mixing stage. So this tutorial is about how to set this up within Reaper. Now, the first thing we need to do is to open an instance of Omnisphere. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is either to right-click here and insert virtual instrument on new track, or from the menu bar, insert and click here. Now, select Omnisphere and click OK. Now, Reaper will ask you if you want to let it create some output routing for you. Now, usually, you will want to click yes, because this will just make it a lot easier for you to set up a multi-output instance of Omnisphere. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to do this manually, just to give you a better understanding of how this routing actually works. So I'm going to go with no. Now Omnisphere opens up, and let me just select some sounds. Okay, I've selected sounds for all eight instruments. Now what we want to do is to set up Reaper to allow us to trigger these instruments separately. And the way to do that is to create MIDI tracks. So as I have eight instruments, I'm going to create eight new tracks. So let's close Omnisphere for now. Right click here and insert multiple tracks. Enter eight. Now, for organization purposes, it is a good idea to name the tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and name mine Omni MIDI. So what we want to do now is to route these tracks to send MIDI data to this instance of Omnisphere right here. So let's start with the first track. Let's open the in and out routing options window by clicking here. And let's add a send. So from this drop-down menu, select Omnisphere, which obviously corresponds with this track right here. And on this track, we want to send MIDI data through MIDI channel 1. So from this drop-down menu, select 1. Now let's go to the second track and do the same. So Omnisphere. Only this time, we want to send MIDI data through MIDI channel 2. And the reason for this is this. Let me open Omnisphere and go to the multi-tab and show you that the first instrument is triggered by MIDI channel 1. The second instrument is triggered by MIDI channel 2 and so on. So let's repeat this action for all the remaining MIDI tracks. Okay, now let's see if it all works correctly. So let me first turn on the track monitoring and let me arm the first MIDI track. Let's see what happens if I play something. Let's try another one. Okay, that all seems to be working fine, but we're not completely happy yet because as you can see, the output for every sound is this track. So all output is routed to this track right here. It doesn't matter which instrument I play. It's all going here. Now, when you get to the mixing stage at the earliest, this will be a problem because you need to be able to process all the different instruments independently. Now, theoretically, it is possible to create some kind of submix within Omnisphere itself. Because, as you can see, you can manipulate the sound exactly the way you want it. You can add some effects and so on. But obviously, 
this isn't the ideal way of working. So what we need to do is to create separate outputs for all the different instruments. To do this, first we have to tell Omnisphere to send the different instruments to different output channels. So if you go to the multi tab, you can see that the output for all instruments is set to out A. Now, by the way, out A is a stereo output which corresponds with audio channels 1 and 2. But the point is, they're all the same. So we have to change that. So let's leave this one as is. Let's go to the second instrument and change the output to out B. Let's go to the third and change that one to out C, and so on. Okay, now again let's create some tracks, this time to send the outputs to. We have 8 parts, so we'll need 8 different outputs, so let's create 8 new tracks. So, insert multiple tracks, again let's enter 8, and this time I'm going to call them Omni Out. All right. So now we have to route the different outputs from Omnisphere to the 8 new tracks we've just created. So let's create some sends on this track. So, add new send. The first instrument, of course, we want to send to OmniOut1. So, OmniOut1. And as you may remember, it's sending its output through channels 1 and 2. And as you can see, this is selected by default. So let's leave this one alone and go to the second one. The second instrument we want to send to OmniOut2, of course. Only this is sending its output through channels 3 and 4. So let's change this one accordingly, 3 and 4. The next one, OmniOut3, and of course we're going to change this to 5 and 6. And I think you get the idea. Now, before I close this window, there's one very important thing we still need to do. We have to uncheck the box next to the master parent send. Because as the audio from Omnisphere is already being sent to the tracks we've just created, which is then sent to the master, we don't want this track to send it to the master also. So, uncheck. Okay, now we've routed all of Omnisphere's outputs to these tracks. So now we have total control over all different instruments. We can add insert effects, we can add send effects, we can play with panning, just everything we need for proper mixing. So the only thing left to do now is to again check if everything works as it should. So MIDI track 3 is still armed. If I were to play something now, what should happen is that MIDI data should be sent through MIDI channel 3 to Omnisphere, which then would trigger this instrument, which then would send its output to out C, which corresponds with channels 5 and 6, which then would end up on this track. So let's see what happens. Let's try another one. You know what I think? I think we've just successfully set up Omnisphere within Reaper. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.